Thank you. Several boats go up in flames overnight at a Pompano Beach marina. And now fire investigators are trying to figure out what sparked the fire. CBS4's Maribel Rodriguez is live on the scene with the latest details. Maribel. Yeah, Walter, that's the big question here. Exactly what sparked this fire? Cito still here. They've been out here since the fire broke out at midnight. Right behind me, you can see one of the boats that caught fire. Um, Cito trying to salvage whatever it is that they can for these uh, for these fishermen and the owners of these boats. You can see one of them. We're told that boat a total loss. The other two are still underwater. Flames shoot out of a 45 foot deep sea fishing boat in the middle of the night. The fire, so intense, it quickly spread to two other boats, creating a very dangerous situation at this marina at 2708 North Ocean Boulevard in Pompano Beach. It's extremely dangerous. Uh, you have a lot of these boats have, you know, compressed uh, scuba bottles on them, uh, you know, natural gas uh, 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 tanks, um, diesel fuel. You know, there's, there's a lot of flammables and uh, there could be, you know, uh, explosions too. The stubborn fire making it tough for firefighters to battle the blaze. They had to use foam and water to get the flames under control, taking them more than an hour to put the fire out. As boat owners and fishermen watched helplessly. Flames were probably 40 feet high over the tuna towers. There were three boats totally engulfed in flames. I tried to get close. There was nothing I could do. I wanted to untie our boat and get it out of the slip, but. I had my shirt off and I got within 50 feet and I was just getting burned. I might have some minor burns on me, but uh, that's all I could do. Just watch. Two of the boats known in the industry as six pack sank and a third completely destroyed. We've got three generations of fishing here and it breaks my heart. We've never seen anything like this. Cito now trying to salvage whatever they can for these fishermen devastated after losing their livelihood in just a matter of minutes. Devastating. You know, I was in tears on my way down here and I didn't really know what happened yet. You know, devastating. It's my whole livelihood. It's and fortunately, no one was injured. The marina is now closed while salvage crews remove the boats and make sure it is safe. The cause of the fire, that is still under investigation. However, we did speak with one of the boat owners who says the actual boat that caught fire was having electrical work done yesterday. We're live in Pompano Beach. Maribel Rodriguez, CBS 4 News.